This video outlines in short the main features of the trial and recruitment periods section in the notification tab, found in any clinical trial. It explains the notification functionality and how to manage the notifications related to the trial and recruitment periods. The notifications tab can be found in each clinical trial in both sponsor and authority workspaces. Sponsors use the tab to notify the member states concerned of important milestones such as the start or the end of the trial and events that might affect the clinical trial. All buttons found in the notifications tab become active once the clinical trial is authorized. On top of the notifications tab, you can see the trial and recruitment periods section. In this section, you can see seven buttons, the MSCs of the clinical trial and the status of the trial to each one of them. With the Start button, you can notify the respective MSC that the clinical trial has started. Select Bulgaria and click on the Start button. In the pop-up form, insert the start date and add any related document. You cannot select future dates. Click on the Submit button and confirm the submission of the notification. In the Trial Details table, the start date for Bulgaria is populated. On the right side of the Trial and Recruitment Periods section, you can see the buttons that are associated with the recruitment. Select Bulgaria and click on the Start Recruitment button. Pick up the starting date of the recruitment from the calendar and add any relevant document. Click on the Submit button and confirm the start of the recruitment. The start day of the recruitment appears on the table. Use the End Recruitment button to stop it. Select the end date, add any documents if applicable and submit the notification. You can restart the recruitment by using the Restart Recruitment button if needed. The sponsor can halt the clinical trial temporarily by using the Temporary Halt button. Select the MSC in which you need to pause the trial and click on the Halt Temporarily button. Fill in the details in the pop-up form and attach the relevant documents if needed. In the fourth field, you are asked whether the halt is related to subject safety and or change in the benefit-risk balance of the trial. Select No and continue with the rest fields filling in the necessary details. Click on the Submit button and confirm the submission of the notification. The change is reflected on the Trial Details table. The selected date for the temporary halt appears on the table while the current status changes to halted. Since the temporary halt is not related to safety and or a change of the benefit-risk balance, you can restart the clinical trial by just using the Restart Trial button. Select the halted trial and click on the Restart Trial button. In the pop-up form, fill in the necessary details. Click on the Submit button and confirm the submission of the notification. The status changes back to authorized and the respective date appears in the restart column of the table. In order to restart a trial that is halted due to safety issues, you need to submit a substantial modification and have it authorized before you restart the trial. For more information, you may visit the e-learning of this module. Last, you can use the End Trial button to notify the MSC that the trial has ended. Select Bulgaria's trial and click on the End Trial button. Select the end date from the calendar. Fill in the details in the rest fields of the pop-up form and click on the Submit button. Confirm the submission of the notification. The end date appears on the table. By clicking on the country link, you can go to the notifications trial history for that MSC. For more information on the notifications trial history, you may visit the e-learning. Each time you submit a notification, a notice is generated in the Notices and Alerts tab. The same happens in the Authority workspace. Notices are created each time that a notification is submitted. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the Notifications tab in the Trial and Recruitment Periods section, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.